Brittany, thank you. We have learned that three-year-old Landon Thompson has died from complications from smoke inhalation, according to an obituary in the Times Free Press. The fire happened more than a week ago on East 36th Street. Channel 3's Claudia Coco joins us live now from the house. Claudia, tell us more. Cindy, David, the fire started at the beginning of the front of the house right here, but when first responders arrived, they found the three-year-old in a back bedroom. This house sits empty on East 36th Street more than 10 days after it caught on fire. Four were taken to the hospital. A father and two children were out of the house when first responders arrived. A three-year-old was still inside. Neighbor Robert Austin watched efforts by those who tried to save those inside. One banged a rock against a window. Finally got the, the dad to open the window and he fell out and he was carrying a little, little baby. I think about, about a month or so old. Another jumped inside. That man made one step on that windowsill and he was in that house. And he grabbed the little baby, his blonde-headed baby, and put him outside. The three-year-old was initially rescued by first responders, but passed away a week later. And that uh, They did pull a child out, the three-year-old uh, child, uh, and unfortunately, uh, he, uh, that child has uh, succumbed to the injuries uh, sustained from smoke inhalation. Chattanooga Fire Chief Phil Hyman says any loss of life is sad, but children are particularly difficult. It really uh, sends chills up and down our spine when, when we have children involved like this. It, it is really heavy on our hearts when things like that happen. He says his firefighters sacrifice everything to rescue everyone inside. Uh, they take it extremely hard. The stuff that they have to see uh, is, is not something that they can unsee. It's heartbreaking because I watch that old little kids out here playing. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. Live in Chattanooga, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.